This is a 90 second rundown of backpropagation. Backpropagation is the backbone behind how neural networks learn, but how does it work? The derivative of a function tells us how it is changing at a point. It can be written as a tiny change delta of y over that same tiny delta of x, and is often used to find the minimums of a function. In machine learning, the goal is to try and minimize the loss function, since that is the score of how bad the network performed on a given sample. In a simple neural network, information passes from the input layers, through the hidden layers, then finally to the output layer. Neurons have two trainable parameters, the weight and the bias, which affect their output. Remember that the goal of the neural network is to minimize the loss function with respect to the trainable parameters so that they can be tweaked to reduce the loss. Since derivatives help us find minimums, we'll find the derivative of the loss function with respect to the weight of one neuron. The weight of the neuron is buried within this equation, which is the transformations that the neuron applies to its input. Since we can't find the derivative directly, let's try and work backwards through the equation. It would be simple to find the change of the loss with respect to activation, but only if the activation was constant. However, the activation A is being changed by the sum of the weighted parameters T, so this change needs to be taken into account. But T is being changed by the weight, so this change needs to be taken into account. You can see that this simplifies down to our original goal of del L over del W, and the informed viewer knows that this is simply the chain rule of calculus. This idea allows us to backpropagate through the entire network, using the chain rule to tweak the trainable parameters of each individual neuron to minimize loss and make a better model. And that is backpropagation in 90 seconds.